Hello everybody and welcome back to Drone Rich. Today we're going to be doing a review on the JJRC H31. Um, this drone is actually waterproof and the fact that it's waterproof is basically the main feature of this drone. So today we're going to be taking this drone for a test flight, seeing how it handles, seeing how fast it is, seeing what the range is, uh, maybe do a height test as well. I'm um, taking a look at the controller here. Here's the controller that it comes with. Honestly, I really like this controller and for the price point, it's, it's a really nice controller and the drone. You can actually see the undersides of the motor right here, um, which is pretty cool. You can see the actual gears right there. You can see it when it spins. So I have the battery all charged up inside the drone, ready to go. What we first of all have to do is plug the battery in, um, just like this. There we go, now that the battery's plugged in, we tuck those cables up into there and we can shut this hatch. Once the hatch is shut, we just hit this button right here, this switch, on and off switch. And once it's on, the lights blink once, which indicate that the drone is on, and it is ready to be flown. There we go, now we just flip the controller on, we, as you can see the drone is right there. Um, and just push the left stick up and down one time, and it ensures that the drone is connected to the controller. So now we're actually ready to fly. Alright, so I'm going to push up on the uh, left stick to get it up into the air, and as you can see, um, the JJRC H31 is now flying. Um, by default, it goes into slow mode, so as you can see, as you can see in slow mode, it's not the uh, fastest drone in the world. There we go, now, all you have to do is hit the uh, left bumper right here to put it into high mode. So now that it's in high mode, um, this thing is really fast. Like, it, the angle of attack on this thing is insane. It is incredibly fast. Um, actually has such an amazing angle of attack that if you go at it too hard, you get, the drone will end up flipping. So it's kind of, it's kind of like an acrobatic drone. There we go. Now I'm going to actually try flying around that pole right there. See if I can do it. There goes the drone and here it comes. There we go. Perfect. This thing has incredible power. Um, the speed on it is one of the main selling points to me. Um, but the fact that it's actually waterproof is also um, amazing. As you can see, look at it uh, just fly upwards right there when you when you go around corners. The thing has just got so much power. There we go. See what I'm talking about? If you go too, uh, if you bank too hard, it'll actually end up flipping. Okay, now I'm going to bring the drone in right here and we'll take it for a range test to see how far away it can actually go. Okay, now given this drone, I highly doubt it's going to make it to the other end of the field right there. But um, let's give it a shot and see how far it can go. Here we go, and we're going to keep it in high mode for this. Alright, looks... Oh, we still have range there. Okay, actually taking off now um, after crashing. Still have connection. There we go, looks like we cut out, so um, time to go see how far it actually went um, from the point we're standing. So I'll videotape running over there real quick. Um, it, it was really far, I couldn't even see it at that point. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video. But uh, running to it right here, there it is. As you can see, still blinking and everything. Still on, so a uh, decent range for sure. Uh, maybe let's try some aerobatic flying flying through some of the gaps on that uh, goal post right there. Okay, another thing I want to emphasize is just how durable these propellers are. It's actually crazy um, how durable the props are. I've actually, um, as you can see, they bend or like that. 
and these things you can basically bend them 90 degree angle and it'll just snap right back or if it bends too far you can just bend it back which is incredibly helpful when uh when crashing that many times and everything and as you can see i was crashing into the poles right there and none of the props broke on any of my other drones props would have definitely broke from hitting that metal right there on the goal post and these props are just fine on the actual promotional video for this drone, it shows people like stomping on the props and stuff, and the props are just 100% fine, which is uh, which is pretty amazing, honestly, just how durable the props are, and as you can see, it still flies just fine. Honestly, I love this thing. Oh, real quick, when it's flying, let's do a high altitude test. Uh, let's maybe see how high it can go. There we go, pretty high. It's falling. You see that little black dot right there? That's the drone. I'm trying to get it pointed back at me. Man, that thing's far away. That was farther than the range sets. Oh, there we go. It dropped, man, I, I heard a hit. Oh, uh, that must have been a hard hit. Dang, I hope it's okay. Oh wow, that was a big crash. That went far this time. All right, so there it is, and it appears to be uh, appears to be okay. Uh, no broken props, legs are still on it, and everything. All right, guys. So after that big crash, the drone, as you can see, is just flying. It flies perfectly. Luckily, it landed in the snow, and as you know, this thing's waterproof, so. Um, it was completely fine landing in the snow. Hopefully I can do some more water tests with this in the future showing um, uh, Demonstrating how this thing is waterproof, but I think that was a pretty good test just um, Having it hit the snow like that like this thing got pretty drenched especially after falling from this height into the snow So overall I really recommend this drone if you're looking for a waterproof drone or a cheap drone That's extremely fast and has uh, aerobatic tendencies This thing is extremely agile and it's got built-in flips. It's got headless mode it's got all the things you'd hope for a drone like this to have. Um, honestly, love this drone by JJRC, and also they do give you some spare props, which you're probably not going to need them with how durable these propellers are. But overall, a great drone. Highly recommended if you're looking for a waterproof drone. Or just a drone in general that you can fly and not have to worry about it breaking. This thing is durable to the max. It's extremely durable. So if you're looking for a durable drone that's even waterproof, highly recommend this drone. As you can see, we can just flip the switch right here to turn it off. And to charge the battery, you can just open it right there. And the battery comes out. The and the battery comes out. This is the battery that it takes. It even gives you a spare battery um, but from the seller that I bought this from. You get a spare battery. So again, link will be down in the description where you can buy this exact drone. I want to thank every single person for watching this video. Thank you so much. Subscribe to Drone Rich for more videos like this, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.